Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday afternoon and it's just about five o'clock. You wouldn't normally find me in school on a Sunday afternoon, but I thought it might be helpful to share some important information with you ahead of the coming week. Parents of children in year three and year five will already have received a text message this afternoon explaining that your child's class has been closed due to COVID. So unfortunately, due, uh, having negotiated from November through to July without any COVID cases, it has returned to the school uh, this week. And you'll know that we shared information with everybody earlier on in the week about the closure of the year one, uh, year two bubbles. And that remains the case for year one and two. They return to school on Friday the 9th of July. So for children in year three and year five, they now enter a period of self-isolation. There will be a letter which will either come out this evening or tomorrow morning uh, explaining what uh, what happens around the self-isolation. And uh, one of the, re the requests is that uh, parents arrange a PCR test for uh, isolating children, so children who have been close contacts. That is new advice and that, that is because this uh, new Delta variant, uh, which appears to be prevalent in the northeast is uh, highly transmissible. So the request is for parents of children who are self-isolating in three and five, but also in one and two, to arrange a PCR test uh, for their children. So the PCR test is the one which is posted off or uh, is taken at one of the test centres. It's not one of the quick lateral flow tests, which gives a, a result for uh, in 30 minutes. The PCR test isn't a quick return to school uh, if uh, if it's negative, uh, children should complete their period of isolation before then returning to school. Um, so tomorrow morning, school will be open for nursery and reception, uh, year four and year six. <clears throat> and so close to year one, year two, year three and year five. And the, if your child is entitled to free school meals, there'll be information in that letter, which will, uh, as I've explained, will be following either later today or tomorrow. In the morning, Rob, the caretaker and the cleaning staff will be deep cleaning all areas that will be used tomorrow, including all uh, common areas, contact points and so on. So that we're as confident as we can be that the school will be uh, clean for children arriving uh, tomorrow morning. So um, I hope everyone stays safe and, and takes care. Our thoughts and, and best wishes, of course, go to uh, those who have been affected by this. And just to uh, pause any alarm that might be uh, rising, we're talking about four cases here uh, in school. And you may be asking why, if we've only got four cases, have we closed four classes down? We always uh, consult with our local health protection team whenever there's a suspected case or a confirmed case. And due to the Delta variant being highly transmissible, that is the advice from uh, public health uh, to close the bubbles which we have closed. So uh, four cases, um, we hope we don't have any more. We'll keep you informed as we go through the week. Um, take care and stay safe. Many thanks.